Hi guys, I'm Priyanka. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a fun video. Uh, if you guys remember, I was in Char Minar a couple of months back. Before this particular lockdown, I went to Char Minar and I did a whole street shopping video, uh, shopping around Madina, and I got a lot of fabrics. And all of you guys loved that video, and you wanted to see how those fabrics turned out. So these are the fabrics which I picked up from Madina Street Vendors. They're sarees, or they're like fabrics of four meters or five meters, uh, which have a little bit of misprint. Or uh, basically, if, if it's a blouse, it's a sari, but the blouse piece is missing or something like that. So these were all very very inexpensive, usually around 180 rupees to like 200 to 50 rupees uh, for the entire sari. So that means you're getting like a four meter fabric and you're getting it for like uh, 200 rupees or 180 rupees depending on the stall. So now you have to check a little bit and buy these. You know, you can check out that video to see everything. In this video, I'm sure going to show you guys some of those. So let's start with the one that I'm wearing. Uh, it's a basic pink fabric and this one is actually, it was only 4 meters and this is the bottom. So I got a maxi dress, a midi length dress made. Some of them were just 4 meters and also had misprints. Even this one actually has a misprint. Uh, so at the back somewhere, it has this sort of a print but this was not a problem because in the dress uh, it would come at the flare and also there was a little bit other misprint which I asked the tailor to tuck it in and add it near the uh, waist which went inside the flare so I got a midi dress made because it was only 4 meters and this is actually a perfect length in the color and the print and everything is so cute and uh, I asked him to put flared sleeves and I think uh, he got it wrong and also I forgot to tell him not to put lining if you want flared sleeves if you don't put lining then they will look much flarier and free flowing but uh, nevertheless it still turned out very cute I really like this dress I really like how it turned out next up we have this one this one I think was a little bigger I think this was probably four and a half or five meters so this one turned out uh, quite uh, big so this one is like a full-on maxi dress so this is how the bottom is and for lining he's put a dark uh, color because here we have light and dark colors. So this part is plain and uh, we sort of put like basic sleeves. Uh, for some of them I wanted puff sleeves. At the back this is what we did. So we did a little bit of dark uh, brown piping and I really like how this one turned out also I think it's really pretty uh, with some silver jewelry or like oxidized jewelry I think it would look really nice I really like this fabric there was one more which in, is in similar colors for that I wanted to do like a shrug so for this one I went with a maxi dress now this one also I was uh, intending to either get like a skirt or a maxi dress so this black part is really good but this one's uh, it came with a blouse piece <laughs> which is this part and yeah which is this part is the blouse piece and I asked the tailor to design it in some other way but it ended up like this uh, so I think there was a miscommunication so they added this part to the top which I think ruined the look because the black part is the best part of this dress so I think if I either add plain black on the top or like some orange on the top it would look nice or I might make this into a skirt at the bottom also there's a little bit of this I want to add like a black patch to it so I might make it into a floral skirt uh, so yeah this one I got I think it got ruined I really did not like how this turned out there was some miscommunication and I hate this gap and also at the back there was a misprint so usually when there's a misprint you cut off that part right but I don't know what happened <laughs> so basically yeah this one got totally screwed up but I really like this black print, uh, floral print part of it. So I'm gonna like make sure that I turn this into something, maybe a skirt. I will let you guys know. So I just wanted to first, without experimenting, get basic dresses done. Because it's a little difficult to find a tailor who can actually help you experiment with different models. So I thought let me first try like basic maxi dresses. Uh, so yeah, this maxi dress and the one that I'm wearing turned out really good. The frills for this pink one actually start just above my waistline. So it uh, gives a very nice flare look. Uh, whereas if they start below the waist or like around your waist, uh, just around the waistline then if you are on the heavier side 
if you're a curvy girl or a plus size girl then it would add to that volume so i prefer to have my pleats starting a little above my waistline uh, so yeah that's what i did that is it for the fabrics that i got from charminar uh, so the ones that i got from madina some or i wanted to get like a sleeveless maxi dress for one of them and a kaftan with one and uh, some other designs i had in mind uh, so for pinterest also i had looked up few things and then i sketched few things and i wanted to get them done but yeah, i thought initially before experimenting too much let me just try basic stuff to see which tailor does them better so that was about it if you have any ideas also let me know in the comments below and uh, i hope this gave you guys an idea of basic maxi dresses that you can do uh, when you're converting your dresses in when you're converting your sarees or fabrics into dresses there's one more which turned out really really good this one has to be my favorite so this one's a saree and it's a party wear saree uh, this was a gift and we turned it into a dress so this was the blouse part so you can see that it's like a sort of patu it has a very beautiful look to it and this entire thing is the sari so the sari at the bottom had this in the pleats so we kept it as it is and at the bottom also this one has like a gold booty sort of a border we kept all that as it is and we made it into a really long maxi dress so the entire thing even here has flowers all around and this is the front part of it so at the back also uh, we continued with the same thing at the back also we made like a nice piping uh, the tailor actually did a very good job with this one i have to say and at the back also the flowers and all that has spread around and the same thing at the back uh, this one turned out really good and for the sleeves also we did long sleeves with this really beautiful pattern and uh, the gold is utilized well here and again the pink piping also turned out really well so this one is so pretty like i could totally wear it uh, for some wedding or some sort of an occasion so this is how this turned out so i don't uh, wear this type of sarees that's the reason i got uh, it made into a dress it's a very beautiful one even as a sari i think it would look really beautiful we did uh, small box pleats uh, they're not very big uh, they're like small box pleats for this one for the one that i'm wearing we made them much closer because it was only four meters we brought them much closer so similar to this yellow one uh, we made few others like my older uh, my mom's older sarees into dresses and some others which are actually worn probably you might have seen them as well i will show you guys those as well in a telugu channel video so that was it for this video you guys <laughs> mostly these are all basic maxi dresses but i I really like how this one turned out and I love the one that I'm wearing. Anyway, this one actually turned out pretty good. Only the black one got ruined. <laughs> but I'm going to fix that anyhow. So that was uh, today's video you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to do some more outfit from scratch kind of videos where I experiment a little bit, especially with plus size fashion uh, because we don't see a lot of experimentation in plus size and curvy girls. Um uh, so although i love wearing my comfortable good clothes i do like to experiment a little bit so if you have any particular design in your mind which you would like me to experiment with or any outfit inspiration on mine also do tell me in the comments or you can even uh, share it with me on instagram and i would love to do them i can create a whole outfit from scratch video let me know in the comments below and i will see you guys in the next video make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also find me on instagram for more quick updates and a lot of fashion content and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.